Hey, what's up? It's Max. I recently spent three days shooting film in San Francisco where I got my feet oh, yeah, wet, yeah, <laughs> pulled some sick wheelies, and took some shots that I really liked. I wasn't alone either. Katie, my long suffering girlfriend and part time camera woman, was there to make me look like even more of a dumbass than usual. For this trip, I bought a ridiculous amount of gear, but mainly I just shot on the Nikon F100 with a 35mm 1.8 AF lens and some Kodak Portra 400 because I'm a basic bitch. Recently, I kind of feel like I've rediscovered my photography mojo and I'm shooting with a lot of different things in mind. One thing that's kind of been informing my photography has been some pictures that I took on my commute to work. I want to show a bit more movement and create a bit more of a feeling in my shots when I can. Also, some of the shots from my travels might get boiled down into a book at some point, so I've kind of got that in mind too. And occasionally I sell some of my work to some agencies, so that's sort of in the back of my mind for some of my photos as well. So I kind of end up taking quite a few different types of photos along the way. After finding somewhere to pick up some film, we headed to Baker's Beach for Blue Hour. When I say Blue Hour, I don't mean that hour when you get back from the pub on your own and you listen to Nothing Compares to You or watch that old video of Ian Wright meeting his old school teacher. <laughs> You're alive. I just mean the hour before sunrise. I think I might have got a bit carried away with Blue Hour. I don't really love most of these shots. The one that I do like is this one. It's pretty atmospheric and I think the shutter speed is just low enough that you get a tiny bit of movement from the car and I'm about that. Remember how I said I had a lot of gear? Well, I've got a tripod and a tripod mount for my long lens, which I definitely intended to use way more than I did, but I guess I'm just lazy, and I didn't. Just putting an ND filter on. Go 
bus all the time, baby. You're excited. Oh, we can go to F22, so that's pretty good. Let's get a big wave. Come on. Oh, we're going to get taken out. <laughs> Looking back at most of these shots from Baker's Beach, I don't really know what I was doing. I definitely didn't get the shots that I intended to get. So I'd already shot a roll before 8am and I only really like about five of the shots from that roll. Some of the rest were okay, and a lot of the rest were shit. Because we were right next to it, obviously I ended up getting some shots from Golden Gate Bridge, but it was around here that we noticed that we kind of messed up with the varial ND filter a little bit, so occasionally you might see some shadows in the corners. Trust me, it does get better. We're drinking coffees. <laughs> These slow shutter speed shots of the cyclist were okay, but I wish I'd had my shutter speed a little bit faster. I'm all about that motion blur, but Hitting the sweet spot can be quite difficult. Too fast, and obviously there's no blur, 
but too slow and it starts to look like dad photography. For these shots, it's okay, but I just wish there was a little bit less blur and a bit more form. I just want to shout out Glass Key who were selling Portra 400 for like $16 a roll and virtually sorted out my whole trip. Also, while we were there, I met a guy called Alfonso who'd actually seen me from a video like a few weeks before. That was absolutely insane to me, couldn't believe it, and he was nice enough to come up and say hi. When I'm traveling, I prefer to walk continuously so that I can see as much as I can, which is perfect for San Francisco, but not nearly everywhere else in the US because the US is made for cars and not humans. Yeah, that's it. Left a bit. Down a bit. Down a bit. Perfect. I blasted through my second roll and San Francisco kind of just has something to shoot everywhere. And there are eight that I think are pretty great from this roll. The water bottle, bird, and the flowers in the window all stand out to me. The pictures of Golden Gate are okay, but who cares? Like anyone could take a good picture of Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> I don't know why, but I felt like I couldn't really get a good picture of the parrots. Like, usually when I'm taking a picture of something, I feel like it eats something else within the frame to give it some something, make it a bit exciting. But with this, it was just parrots and, you know, anyone could get a picture of just parrots and that's just what I felt like I was doing. Perhaps if I'd just knocked the shutter speed down a bit, got one that was in focus and not moving and the others that were moving around it, I feel like that would have been kind of interesting, but I don't know. <laughs> Lots of 
Lombard Street wasn't really Lombard in for me, so we just got some sweet, sweet Vietnamese food and headed back. Day one had wet my cheeky wee appetite, so on day two, we really wanted to head to the Mission District and then onto what's called Twin Peaks. And this is where I would make dumb headed mistake number one. <laughs> To your right a bit. To my right. Am uh, I right? That's it. Here you go. Sometimes you get into the flow with photography and this day felt like one of those days for me. I don't really know if I feel like I had a day like that again in America the whole time. And I probably would say that's down to the fact that we were driving everywhere rather than walking. Really could not work out what to do there, but it looks nice. I was just like confused about what to what to take. That's the end of roll three of San Francisco, and maybe my favorite roll. With maybe seven shots that I really like. And one to two that I actually think are really great. It's 
So I've only bought one roll of film because I'm a dumbass and the roll that I bought happens to be a spent roll. So I'm using Katie's camera for now, which is the little AF-10. I really wish I'd had that extra roll, but it's just one of those things. Sometimes I make mistakes because I'm dumb. That's pretty much a wrap on San Francisco. I really love shooting in San Francisco. It's really easy. And I think if you can't take good shots there, you're gonna to struggle to take them anyway. But before I finish, I'm just gonna go through my top five shots from this trip. If you've got any different favorites, maybe write them on a small piece of paper, attach it to a pigeon, and let's see whether it finds me. I'm gonna go with this one with the car in front of the house. It's pretty in line with what I wanted to achieve before I came out on the trip, and it's got a lot of mood about it, and yeah, I think it's pretty good. For number two, I'm going to go for the cyclist, because it follows a certain vibe I was going for. It's not perfect, but it's good. If I'd have had a slightly faster shutter speed on him, then I think it would have been pretty much perfect for what I was going for. For number three, I'm going to go with a water bottle, which is a really random one, but there's something ethereal about it, if that's the right word. I don't even know what that means. It was just there, and the light was just right, so I really like this one. You know for number four, I've got to go for the bird on the bendy branch. I love this. You can't not love this. Perhaps there's a way it could have been better, but I love it, and that it includes the skyline as well, because... I just love having that mixture of elements together. Number five, this is one that I haven't talked about yet, but the shot of these pigeons with the motion blur, I feel like you can feel the movement, and I think it's a good one for me. I really like it because it's quite a well-known spot in San Francisco, and it's a slightly different take. So while that's the end of San Francisco, it's actually the beginning of a US series. I went around the US for like three weeks. I've shot so much and I'm really excited to be releasing videos on it because I think that they're going to be really good. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Take a look at the next video and keep your eye out for more of this US trip. Thanks a lot.